The Alabama Department of Public Health wants to get the word out about proper infant nutrition, specifically the benefits of breastfeeding, and they hope to boost numbers around the state, which they say can save lives. News 19 Samson Tamajani shows us how and with whom mothers can make a difference. August is National Breastfeeding Awareness Month. It's to call attention to what the ADPH considers the foundation to lifelong health and wellness. This has been a focus for a long time. Northern District Medical Officer and Pediatrician Dr. Wes Doublefield identifies consistent breastfeeding as a big need for babies. We know the challenges that we have in Alabama in terms of our breastfeeding rates. We know the medical re the medical benefits of breastfeeding, and we want people, we want uh, parents, mothers. Um, those that are, that are trying to make that decision to know that you have to have all the information. Mm -hmm. Doing a home visit out in Hazel Green. One support resource that offers information is Tennessee Valley Lactation Support, co run by Sarah Willis. We see a lot of parents with things like um, engorgement and mastitis. We've got babies that aren't latching. We've got um, moms with nipple pain. That's a really big trigger for most of our parents. They were still learning how, so we would bottle feed them afterwards. First time mom Kirsten McCollum says she didn't know where else to turn for postpartum help with her newborn triplets. She was incredibly helpful. She was able to give me a plan for here's what we're going to do. You know, how much milk are you making now? How can we get your supply to increase so that we can then make sure that your girls are getting enough? Willis explains that as much good ADPH does to boost its women, infant, and children program, especially in light of baby formula shortages, a key stat remains. At least 69% of our parents are choosing to try to breastfeed. However, when we get to the age of 12 months for that baby, that statistic drops down to 21% of those babies being breastfed. It's wonderful that we have formula for those babies, but if we can increase the breastfeeding support so that we have less need for the formula, we've got more formula for the babies and the moms that actually need it. I think that the fact that women, so many women don't breastfeed, I think is largely due to the fact that we don't have the kind of support that we really need. I was fortunate to have the resources to be able to work with Sarah, but a lot of people do not have that. And I think that that's really sad. Another hurdle Willis points to is health insurance providers declining to cover clinics like theirs despite a requirement from the Affordable Care Act. She hopes state legislators take notice. In Madison, Samson Tamajani, News 19. And you can find out more about these programs and support inside this story's article on WHNT.com.